Hey guys, welcome to Adam's Venture, um, Origins in this case. This is a Christian video game, I guess, that I got specifically for that reason, since there hasn't been that many, like, mass-produced Christian video games, and I thought, as a Christian, it would be cool if we actually managed to make, like, a decent or average game. This has like 50% scores across the entirety of everything, so it's a very mixed reception. Um, but Adam's Venture was an episodic gaming story-driven thing on the PS3 that got put onto the PlayStation 4. Uh, they actually sold physical copies, and that's what interested me the most out of everything. Um, I'm hoping it's not going to be extremely awkward, as a lot of Christian video games tend to be. They don't, like, have that, like, explicitly written on the box, though, so either they were attempting to, like, make a game just with Christian influences, which is what I'd hope they'd be doing, or they were trying to trick people into buying the game, and then we're going to get smacked with a Bible right in the beginning of it. But, um, we will see, and if this game turns out to be good, I might turn this into a playthrough. If it seems to be a little awkward for YouTube, I might just play it on my own time and release this as an Ape Have Tries episode. Anyways, I did not update it. It came with a 3 gigabyte update, so uh, let's see what I bought. Or, not what I bought, I got this for Christmas. Let's see what, uh... Santa brought me. English is the Union Jack because the English people. This was created by the Dutch and I forgot to mute the game audio before recording. Music isn't bad, it just cut in at a very weird time. Okay, new game. This is the remake of it on PS4 using the Unreal Engine, by the way. Originally it was uh, made in Unity. I might get it on the PS3 if it turns out to be, like, just average, because I like supporting indie developers, especially if, um, there's a Christian one that's doing Adam, an okay job. How can you sleep at a time like this? Do I have to wake my character up? It's supposed to be kind of like Uncharted if there was no violence. Makes sense. Um, the up button for wake up. How can you sleep at a time like this? First thing we do, quick time event. Got it. And by quick time event, Come there's on, no quick, Dad. and it's just We're time. Searching dusty old books at 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh, can't imagine why I dozed off. Exciting, isn't it? And what's more, I'm really onto something here. After all these years of research, I'm about to prove my Genesis theory. And if you do, we can stop reading? Wow, this is really exciting. Hmm? Well, in any case, I need you to find my new assistant in the library wing. There's a book there that I need. Well, the uh, controls aren't too bad, probably because they played a lot of Uncharted. Um, but eh, they are kind of drifty, but maybe if I ever need a run, it will speed up. Or the whole game's just puzzles. Who knows? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. I think you told me to grab something. Is that like a fishing reel on my side? I don't know what that is. Kind of looks like a phonograph. Uh, there's a map. Let me talk to you again so I know what Dad, I'm doing. What book do you need? Book? What book? Oh, the book. Yes, the book. My assistant knows. Just go to the library wing. Oh, okay. Um, his face is really creepy, and none of their lip syncing really matches up. But, I mean, the graphics aren't terrible. It looks to be that weird resolution thing, though. Um, that a couple of PS4 games I've got, uh, like Player Unknown Battlegrounds, where like things do seem to look a little pixely, and don't really know what's up with that. Adam Venture makes the world go round. <laughs> that one never gets old, does it? Uh, okay. I have to interact to open doors. They don't have physics. It's just an animation. Um. Keep in mind, this is an indie game, too, so don't judge it, like, on par of Uncharted, because dozens of millions of dollars makes makes the difference there. There is a large amount of screen tearing. R2, sorry. 
I was, hold, I was pressing L3 as uh, instinct would have it. Hop down the stairs. Yeah, it's, it's not as smooth as I, I did, uh, as Uncharted, but I gotta stop comparing it to Uncharted. Why am I doing this? I should look around a bit more. Okay, fair enough. Like they never even made that Whoa. comparison. I'm just this doing it. Holding, I'd better start building an arc. Ooh, Bible references. <laughs> so, um, is that grass <laughs> or a lake? It's grass. Okay. There's just no textures. See, being on the PS4, I have to judge the graphics more harshly. But on the PS3, it wasn't even made in this engine, so it was... It's probably always going to be, like, a generation in graphics behind. But that goes for most indie games. I'm just repeating myself. Ah, the library. The old library might contain the book my dad needs. But Fair where enough. is his assistant? Well, we haven't opened the door yet. It's locked. Oh. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. I wonder if they changed the lip syncing for each language. Hang on. It's locked. I wonder. The voice acting isn't that bad either. Like, the lip syncing's not the best, but the voice acting's pretty, uh. Like. Quality recordings. Um, not like super stiff or anything. Uh. I would guess you're the assistant. Oh, I have to Excuse get really me, close. I'm looking for my father's new assistant. Most likely a scruffy old fellow, a nerdy sort of type. Probably smelling like musty old books. Well, I'm Evelyn Appleby, your father's new assistant. You must be Adam. Am I the sort of type you're looking for? Yes. I mean, no. I, I mean, I, I only meant, uh... Oh, I think I know what you meant. Now, would you help me with these paintings? According to oh, Professor I was Bencher, blocking her. I was wondering why her character is freaking out. Door. So we're off to our first puzzle, apparently. Jeez, the screen tearing is so bad in this. Um. Oh. I, I already forgot her name, and it's a weird spelling. Um, help her with the paintings. So I gotta match the paintings with something so this guy looks like a military guy so I'm gonna say he goes with swords ah and the, he goes with music moon makes sense oh but these move around in a weird way lumen, lumen. light the enlightened ones ooh, ooh uh, mushroom antelope the young ones. How do I win this game? No game, Adam. These paintings represent five former faculty deans, known as the Enlightened Ones. The library contains their private collections. Lumen is the Latin word for light, so this must be a clue. You're not just saying that because I won, are you? Hey, not so fast. How is Lumen supposed to get us into the library? Wait for me. I don't really know what to say at this point. It works. <laughs> it, it's doing what it can do. <laughs> Seeing as you like games, why don't you crack the lock? Oh boy, breaking the fourth wall and in a very cheesy way. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to spell Lumen, aren't I? Oh, the update's ready to install. You know what? I wonder if um, the update fixed some of the screen tearing. I will let you guys know if that's what happens. Wait. Okay, hang on. The controls are kind of weird on this. So, the middle ring moves when I move the outer ring. So, we want the M by the U. Okay, so now the M and the U are stuck together. We can bring it up here. Ah, oh, man, this controls differently. Ah, oh, dang it. Um, okay, if I spelled it right, this should be it. I oh, did. Did you figure it out? Yeah, it took me a little longer than I would have hoped. Why didn't he just give us a key? Why did he tell me to go find you if... Ah, oh, never mind. So, now that we're locked in the library, we might as well get that book. 
Which one is it? I thought you knew. Professor Venture just mumbled, it will be staring right at you, and kept on reading. Um, yeah, he tends to do that, I'm afraid. <sighs> Why does he have an assistant if, um, he doesn't even, like, tell her how to assist? Okay, do I just check every book, or did I find it? Because there was a triangle over there, and I haven't... Oh, no, there's a triangle on every shelf. Okay. Uh, what'll stare me in the face? I mean, this one has a photo, so there's only one bookshelf with a photo. Find a book that's staring right at you. Why is my dad always so cryptic? Heaven knows. Books, books. So many books. I could just check every shelf. What happens when he checks a shelf? It's about mining. Okay. It's probably going to be in the most cryptic place. Like, up these... Oh, okay. What's up with all the, the um... The eyes up there? I'm trying to think of the, the actual name of the eye and not just say Illuminati like an idiot. But, um... Oh gosh, that might give me some hate comments. Do I have to go... Oh wait, I stare you in the face though, so let's see. Maybe I do have to do something like that. It's definitely a puzzle game, I'll give it that. Can I... Okay, so that's how I go up. Puzzles are decent. Like, they make you think, but at the beginning they're not too difficult. And uh, I'm not that great at puzzles, so... I appreciate this. Would triangle be the uh, get on ladder button? Oh, did I not lock the ladder? How, how do I interact with ladders? Hey, do you know how to interact with ladders? Do they have to be in a certain place? Oh, this is the bottom one, isn't it? Do I have to bring these all the way around? You know what, there was probably a simpler way of doing it and I just like really messed it up, so might as well do it the long way. Yeah, I'm definitely doing this in a lot more convoluted manner than I probably had to, but I, I believe I figured- no, I did not figure it out. There! I can crawl up half of it. I like how I was just talking about how the puzzles were kind of easy, and then I just completely failed on that one. Woo! We did it! Alright. So you're staring me right in the face, and there's just a book up here? I don't have to, like, break through that or something? Fair enough. Evelyn, look! I found the staring book! <laughs> you could say it just caught my eye. <laughs> it caught my eye? Seriously? That's right. I'm good-looking and funny. What more can you want in a guy? Uh, right now, I just wish to find a way out of here. Oh, is that how we get out? It just collapses. Um, R3's crouch? Been playing a lot of Batman Arkham lately. Adam Venture, putting the vent into Venture since 1901. Oh, boy. Um, and in Batman Arkham, you go, th you break open a lot of vents. I've never played that series before, and I figured out the games were only $4. So I tried out a lot of them. Oh, boy. <coughs> Wait, what? How, how did you get out of there? It's called a door, Adam. You might want to try it sometimes. You just have to pull instead of push. Just warn me the next time you're going to pull this on me, okay? I can't tell if it was a pun because you said pull or if that sentence just didn't make any sense. You know what? You actually smell a lot better than my dad's previous assistant. That's kind of, well... Sweet, actually. Uh, let's keep going. I'm not sure if that should be counted as a compliment, but uh, I think my dad is in here. He stands Professor now. Professor Venture? Here's that book you've asked for. History of the Enlightened Ones, right? Ah, most excellent. Yes, that's right. And I see you've met my son as well. Splendid, splendid. <clears throat> so... Why did you need the book, Dad? These so-called enlightened ones found something. Something important. This book will reveal their secret. I'm telling you, son, this is it. Wait a second, I've seen that painting before. 
Oh, never mind. A lot of the stuff in this game is like very cliche. Hey! Come on, Zuck. Put it down. Wait, I did. <laughs> I just stole the book from them. Ah, good. Now let us read. Can I read? It said use book. I just grab it from them. Oh no. I'm I'm supposed to just take it from them? And do what with it? Slowly put the book down. No one needs to be hurt. Give it back, Adam. I don't think he's kidding. Jeez, what is going on with you two? You're gonna beat up your son because I grabbed the book? Use book. Triangle? Hex? No, that's hop. Uh. Oh, the D-pad controls him. Didn't need to really have that feature, but... How do I use the book? It just says use book. I don't want to set it on fire. Oh my gosh, I just accidentally stumbled upon that. So I just grab it from him? Whoa. That was a silver trophy? Illuminato? Is that what it's Illuminito? What? Does this game actually have to do with the Illuminati? Oxford Dungeon. I maybe I could see I have something to do with Freemasons um, because I think we're trying to find like the, the Ark of the Covenant or something. I, I forget I need to read the back of the book. Do I just press up to wake him up wow. again? Where am I? Yes, I do. Ah. Man, that hurts. Dad? Dad? Evelyn? Can I call you Evelyn? Hmm. Guess not. Um, they could have added some effects to that, but... Whatever. Grappling hook? Just what I was looking for. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely going for the whole Uncharted thing. It's giving them the benefit of the doubt, but there's no way. Well, actually, Uncharted didn't really have the grappling hook until the third one? Or the fourth one? And this came out in 2009, the original. Did you get the grappling hook in the original one? That's interesting. Hey, wow, this does this actually have physics? Hang on, slow down, slow down. Yeah, you you actually like move around and stuff. Okay. Programming. Jeez, where am I going? Might as well start looking for this mysterious secret, or better yet, a way out. Yeah, you you didn't just have to grab the book like that. Oh, you know how that could have played out really well. As if it was just a cutscene, but I have a feeling this game doesn't have cutscenes. I'm really curious to see where this is going, though. Because <laughs> I honestly have no idea. It seems the enlightened ones were also free time masons. Quite a thing they've built down here. Hint, hint, masons. Hint, hint. I'm gonna look like an idiot if this has nothing to do with the Freemasons, but. <laughs> How is this made by the Dutch? Didn't think the Dutch were too much into this kind of stuff. Explore. Yeah, I could have figured that one out. Do I just go up here? This is my way out. Uh, nope. Oh wait, wasn't it? You say it's in Latin? That's a place. <laughs> it's also a place, I think. Could be wrong. Uh, yeah, that's totally a place right there. What country is that? Maybe I'll find out. <laughs> I'll find out soon. Pull the thing. This is incredible. Beyond imagining. Unbelievable. My dad was... Right? Oh, and this room's pretty amazing as well. Okay, that joke could have only been pulled off if the... The voice acting was proper, and that was very, uh, just trying too hard, I'm gonna say. I, I'm, I'm critiquing this game a little too much. I know it's an indie game and stuff, but yeah, a lot of it does seem like, you know, trying too hard. It's doing well for what it is, but they could have toned some of the jokes back a bit. Hmm. Something's missing. 
something's missing it's planets and we're looking at like countries and stuff so uh there is a a europe part of europe anyways wait is that spain over there just crooked no maybe i don't know oh right this door opened duh all right we got stuff okay there's like a shield but it also looks like there's like just huh. film these trinkets seem quite useful. What? What is it, though? And we hop. And we hop again. I'm gonna guess we hop again, but this time with different stuff below us. Huzzah, I did not uh, get injured because I'm not sure if you can die in this game or not. I don't know, that's a pretty freaky fall. Oh my gosh. That could have ended badly. I forget if this game was rated... I'm pretty sure it's rated E. I think. More of the film looking stuff. I'm pretty sure that's film. Maybe what I'm going for is the film. I did die. Straight up dead. All for film. Okay, am I just not allowed to land there? Oh, you know what? Maybe I can, like... Hook onto that other hook. Wow, that's pretty impressive, actually. Um, and then go over here. Swinging physics aren't half bad. Another priceless piece for my ever-growing collection. Which I would think would be like the last thing <laughs> that would feel really good, but like they got that. Like even in the first Uncharted. Now I know this is the remastered version of these games, so the first ones probably play completely differently. But um, the first Uncharted, or the second one, I remember there being like uh, this part where uh, they pull out they pull out a rope, and it handles so poorly. Like it just looks like a bunch of rulers that have been taped together. These round discs. Soon they'll have me playing checkers down here. I understand this is ten years later, but an indie developer, you know doing that pretty pretty all right i would say and that just decides to fall over why why are you crawl please thank you ah that's the uh, other path so i'm going to take what i found maybe back up here oh these discs go in these places What did that do? Did it illuminate like a new area? That kind of looks like Germany, maybe. I don't know. I'm really amazed that I'm not getting whatever these shapes are. I'm sorry if you're from there. Oh, it's zooming in on, on wherever we're going. Okay. Just the entire left half of Europe. He's like... Belgium is over here, right? And then there's France. I'm a little thrown off. I need the lines on this map to figure out where I'm going. Okay, now it should zoom in more. Oh boy. This. This. I've got to tell my dad. It's something important. Did we ever learn what we're actually going after yet? Oh, that's nice. Brighten the, the place up a bit. The weather's nice. Look at those trees. They're nice. Too. Yeah, everything's... Nice. Did I call it nice before they start talking? Because now I feel like everything's a bit overplayed now that everyone's calling so it nice. You're absolutely sure we're on the road to lose this time. Of course I am. I can read a map like a, a book. My point exactly. You're not quite like your dad, are you? Which is why he sends me to do his field work. Now, let's go see what this holdup's all about. I wonder if I'm going to get a drive. 
Hello, sir. Excuse me, sir. We'd like to go to Luz and... Bad problem. A mechanician will be here to fix my car in three hours or so. Three hours? But what about your mail? Just a package for that crazy professor who's studying our town. Bad problem. Um, would you be willing to take us there once my car's fixed? For the problem. So, the rest of the game is just standing around here in real time for three hours. Yep. Nah. I better try to move the problem along. Maybe I can get that cow and have it pull this car. Can I just break into this house? No, I cannot. Did you crash? Are you that incompetent of a mailman? You wouldn't happen to have a wrench now, would you? Uh, the problem. I know. Thanks anyway. So, why do you want to visit our professor? Well, it all began when Adam found a secret room hidden below Oxford, pointing us to this place. Incroyable. Isn't it? So anyway, there's supposed to be a connection between Luz and the Book of Genesis. Perhaps this professor will know more. It's all ever so exciting. Uh, okay. Wait. Here, little birdie. He... Oh, Miss Appleby. He gave me a wrench, I guess. We have so much in common. Hey, watch it. Do I just keep altering them until they are in the right position? So there's only a select number of positions. This is the only one that connects to the right things. Oh, I did it. Merci bien, monsieur. I will deliver my package now. See, I told you. Part the problem. Okay. That's his catchphrase, I guess. Now, do I get to drive the car? Nope. It, it just took off without me. I think me. this postman's got a fake accent. Can we trust him? I mean, it, it sounded fake, but that I don't know if that's part of the story or the actors they found. Mostly sounded fake because they were speaking in English. I've also never heard a Frenchman before. Because I'm an uncultured American. We have arrived. Welcome to the beautiful town of Lourdes, known for its lovely, um, known for its, um, grass. Well, you know what that means. Oh, we're the ones delivering the package? Okay, there's an arrow. Is this an elevator? Oh, do I have to get this box? Uh, sir, what am I supposed to do? Okay, I just opened this door. Hey, you down there. Hello, I'm Adam Be- Yes, yes, get that package up here, boy. You're late. Oh. S the grumpy old sorry. geezer didn't even hear me out. Said he wants his crate delivered to the roof. Well, I just got it out of the truck. So it's time for a break. Union rules. Seriously? Oh, never mind. Let's just deliver the crate ourselves. We might yet learn something from this professor. Sure, like how to be rude. But fine, I'll deliver the stupid crate. We did it. I pushed a box. Uh, a little help here? The crate looks a bit too heavy for me, but you're doing a great job, Adam. <laughs> you know, Evelyn, I think you would make a great postman. Um, what's the the number it's supposed to be at? Do I have to get it up to 50? So right now it's on 12 and we gotta get to 27. So we just add 12 and then 3. Awesome. I can math. Now, oh, I was gonna say, is he gonna hand us down the ladder? He did. At last, the final parts. Well, are you expecting a tip, boy? Get off my roof. Me, get off your roof. I'm Adam Bencher. Danger trembles when it hears my name. I... Adam, shh. Um, my companion here is trying to say that we share your interest in Luz. Do you? Why? What do you know? Hmm. I could 
How about you fix the rest of my windmills? Then we'll talk. I would say it's Let's just go along with it, Adam. Focusing Throwing windmills might cheer him up. You see, all men are like children. That's just not fair. I'll tell my dad you said that. Right. Well, if you take this side, I'll go there. Um, I don't know what that last part was about. But anyways, um, it's doing a lot of those things that I saw with older cartoons. Or not older cartoons, but... Um, some of the cartoons I've been looking back on, there's just like things that you're supposed to be taking seriously, but they never really explained why. Like why this guy is supposed to be as cool as he talks like he is, because we didn't hear of his previous adventures or anything. helping for once. Best leave her to it. And like why they have these sort of character traits that were never explained. But I, I'm just saying I've, I've seen that type of writing before. So we have to try to get over there without maxing out the voltage or something? Or are we supposed to get over there by maxing out the voltage, maybe? Yeah, it has to be above 9 to get through here, I think. No, it does have to be below 9. No. How do I get around here? Oh, it probably has to be exactly nine. Okay, I uh, did it somehow. Now this says 13. Oh, so I have to get it to subtract to the right number. Eh, it's like one of the games I used to play at my school. I think I figured it out. I did it. I can power a windmill, which I thought windmills were supposed to do that like in the reverse order. Like, aren't they supposed to collect wind power? Whatever. I did a thing. Wait, that would actually be pretty cool in the 1920s. It's interesting. Hello, sir. Why do you want those windmills fixed anyway? For my experiment. It's going to be a wonder of invention. You'll see. You'll see. Okay. Well, I thought the the girl was going to go over here and fix stuff. Okay, I'm not climb this. Can I zip line across? I can. Oh, it just nonchalantly decides to zip swing across. This is way too similar to the Uncharted controls, but the the first game in this I'm pretty sure came out before did the first Uncharted have the the grapple? Okay, now I have to get down to one from five. Well that looks easy enough. Nope, never mind. There we go. I'm too lazy to like look at the entire puzzle. I just sort of do it by feeling. <laughs> and then after I do it by feeling, I give up and actually try to solve the puzzle. Dang it, I'm off by one. Oh my gosh, I figured it out. Technology is scaring off the birds. Typical. Yeah, that that's kind of happens. Adam would you mind giving me a hand? I can't seem to fix my last windmill. Wait, wasn't that the only one you've been working on this entire time? I I hope you did more work than just that. Off we go. That last one was was pretty difficult, at least for me, because I wasn't thinking about it too much. All right, let me take a look. Ah, numbers. Okay. One and four is five, and three and two is five. So those su subtract each other out. And then, since I'm at the number I want, I should be good. I am. Okay. Now, I just gotta do this whole mess again. Dang. That was a confusing one. I had to go all the way around. That was easy. Oh, did you figure it out? Um, no it wasn't, dude. Can I go down there with her, or do I have to run all the way back? I have to go all the way back. Oh, wait. I should look around a bit more. But, 
For what reason? It reminds me of, um, it does remind me of, like, something I would have played on the PS2 that I would have rented from Blockbuster or something. I don't mean that in a bad way. Um, it's just, you know, a story game. And it's an indie story game, so the, the acting's gonna be off, but the actual, like, I don't know, plot of it is kind of intriguing, I guess? And the puzzles are, are very puzzly. If you like puzzles, it, it has them. Do I talk to you? Do I talk to you? Oh, I talk to you. I have to get really close for that triangle to appear. That works! That works! A triumph for science! No, a triumph for me! Finally, I'll be able to enjoy a decent cup of coffee in this barbaric town. And just the right strength. With a splash of something. Two. Oh. So we just helped him boil coffee? Templar Church. Okay. Um. Professor Santomer, um, why are you researching this town? Luz and its church in particular are of interest to the company that's funding my research. I'm not at liberty to discuss it. Oh, come on. Not even after our contribution to your, um, scientific revolution? Hmm. Scientific progress does taste rather good, and my research is absolutely stuck anyway. You know what? Fire up the projector and I'll tell you what I don't know. Okay. That was easy. It does seem like there's some secret society stuff going on. Oh no. <laughs> puzzle game has puzzles. It's an interesting puzzle. I, I don't think I've ever done anything like this. Oh. I wasn't prepared for that. Uh, my work here is supported by a powerful organization called the Clairvaux Corporation. Years ago, this company acquired the memoirs of Charles Leroux, a knight who joined the Third Crusade with Richard Lionheart. Historical records show that after the Crusades, Charles ended up here in Luz, claiming to have unlocked the secret to Genesis. However, even if this exists, he took it to the grave. A grave I have been unable to find in over a decade. Professor, Excuse me for asking, but where have you been looking? Charles was a member of the Templar Order, so I've been assuming he was buried at the nearby Templar Church. Let me take you there. Follow me. Why would Freemasons know anything about a Templar? Unless that whole thing underneath the, the other place we were at had nothing to do with Freemasons. That's quite a storm. Yeah. It's storming. Well, um... I'm not sure whether to wrap it up here or not. Well, my current theory about Charles' grave is based upon the dates on these gravestones. First, you take the date of birth on this one, then add it to the death on that one, and subtract that from the first number on this one. Then, if you divide this by the number of tombstones and take the last three digits of that, you get quite a significant number. Remember it! Now add 42 to the length of that guy's name. Ah. Uh... Well guys, thanks for watching that trying out, I guess. If you guys want to see more, let me know and uh, I'll see if I'll do a playthrough on it. It's a interesting game and for an indie game, it's all right. It's better than a lot of other like Uncharted-esque games that I've seen out there. And it's its own little puzzle storytelling thing. I don't really get it. And there's a lot of cheesy moments in it, but I think they did all right. I, I have a mixed review of it too, I guess. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.